Hello there, Libra. Welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here and I hope that you're doing well. In this um, video, I'm going to do general tarot card messages for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Also welcome in Crosswatch Watchers. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much. Welcome in. Do hit the subscribe button if you are a returning um, viewer thank you so much for coming through welcome in welcome in welcome in let's get some messages out for you libra i'm going to do two spreads all right two different spreads and see how well the messages line up for you so remember that these are general readings general messages so all of the messages may not apply to all of you so take what applies libra and the rest let it fly okay Ooh, oh my god someone is getting money listen someone is focusing on leveling up financially this is so beautiful amazing like you're you're focusing hard you're putting in the extra work you're being determined you're just out there and things are happening swiftly for you i feel you're you're being clear in the process. You're speaking up. You're demonstrating who you are and what it is you want out of this life. Just in the way you're taking action towards your goals. You have a vision. You're dreaming big. There are big things that you want. So I feel like you're not just working to make money. You're working to invest in a bigger dream with the Queen of Pentacles energy here. There's a huge dream, a huge vision. And it has something to do with your creativity your true essence, your, natu your natural vibration, the way you move, the thing that you, you love to do, your, your gifts possibly, something that you love to do that's going to bring you financial stability here. It's, it's a stable source of income, but it's also something that makes you feel confident, feel good, feel vibrant. It's something that makes you feel good that you're dreaming big about you're focusing and you're putting in the work right now some of you are focusing on starting your own business here all right so let's get some cards out we're going to do a basic shuffle here and then get some messages something some message coming in some information maybe a challenge uh will you be up for it <laughs> You'll be up for it. It could be a financial challenge, a financial inconvenience, but you'll be financially ready. I feel like you'll be saying it's a good thing. It's a good thing I started this job. It's a good thing I'm working. It's a good thing I have an income, you know, because, because of what's coming up for you. Mm, it could be someone returning from your past. It could be a past love connection. We have the Six of Cups energy. A gift, a past gift. A gift from someone from the past. I see water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Alright. So your past energy, the Knight of Cups, maybe someone was to really show themselves to you, prove themselves to you, and they failed in making, putting in that effort. That's for some of you. For some of you, this person did give to you. This could be two different people. One that wasn't giving to you, and then one that came in new and fresh and is giving you all that your old person wasn't, was failing to put into the relationship when it comes to emotional fulfillment and satisfaction here we are we have the hierophant like this maybe some of you wanted to get married wanted to settle down and tie the knot and have this beautiful union you were waiting for this person to come around and make this offering to you of a promise of something it's not just a marriage but it's a promise a promise of commitment of keeping your word you know but this person wasn't measuring up, you know, they weren't, they, they, it just wasn't flowing. They weren't continuing with the, with the process, you know, they were holding back, I feel. And for some of you, hey, this new love that comes in may give you literally all that you've wanted from the person you are currently with, or this is your past person. We have water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay, so a new person may be coming in that's going to literally ask you to marry them, to go out with them, to eat with them, and 
all the emotional fulfillment, all the affectionate things that you wanted from your partner or your ex-partner and they weren't giving it to you. They were holding back. We don't know why. Oh, Lord. And the devil card is here. They were holding back because of this devil energy. Listen, if you want clarification to know why your person is holding back and what this devil energy is, Libra, uh, do email me. The email address is in the description box below this video because I feel it's going to take some clarification. This devil energy does represent toxicity, addiction. It represents negative attachments. It can be... Uh, it can be codependency in a relationship. It can be codependency because of emotional satisfaction or sexual satisfaction or financial satisfaction, you know. It can be that kind of codependency where two people may know that they burn when they're together. They're, you know, they burn. They are always in conflict and the energies are just not melding together. But they remain together still and try to control each other try to you know be a part of a person's life when you like you realize it's not working that's the devil energy here the devil energy is also capricorn taurus virgo virgo earth energy i feel like this person could have had some negative ideas about what marriage brings look both of these cards are everyone is holding their hand up okay looking like the left too or is it right okay right <clears throat> so um like there's this whole like maybe someone doesn't believe in marriage maybe someone has had a bad a, a bad marriage experience with a past connection that um capricorn virgo taurus and even the person that wants to come into you does still have this devil energy behind them. Even the new person that wants to give you everything. All right, they're, they are still coming in. I feel like their ideas of marriage is also a bit toxic. This person may be wanting to come in and tie you to them. Maybe this person wants the entire uh, traditional ideas of marriage. Maybe this person, if you're a woman, this person wants you to stay home and take care of the children. And then after a while, you'll see that it is still bordering on controlling. So you may manifest the same kind of person, but in a different way. It comes in as new love and they're giving you everything. But there's something within you, Libra, that needs to be resolved or else you're going to keep attracting this to you. Maybe that's why you're really now focusing on yourself here, your value, your self-worth, and your money here. And maybe you're, you're moving away from connections with toxic, to, um, toxic connections in relationships. So we'll see what's Taurus, coming up for there was a you brief in the interruption in your reading. Okay, if these the message messages are resonating, so far, do, go do ahead compliment and the video by giving it a giving thumbs up and stay tuned up. for future right, uploads to further clarify your reading. Thank you much, Yeah, so love. the new person, if this is a female, this new person may think uh, if you're the man, they expect you to spend all the money. I mean, it's uh, listen, you know what I mean? It's just that kind of a mentality. It's old-fashioned beliefs about relationships. And it's also bordering on manu manipulation and control. So this person showers you with love, but they do have an intention. So if you're dating, really ask questions about this new person, what they believe in, who they are, what experiences they have had in the past, who they've been with, you know, do that. So let's see, this offer came into you. And some of you, this person was withholding this offer. So let's see what's going on. This is actually really interesting. All right, Libra. So remember that you are a part of this reading here now, presently. So really focus your intentions in the areas which you want clarification in the most right now. As we move into your current vibration, we'll see what unfolds, what energies are playing up here for you as it relates to this past connection, as it relates to your money. What are you now feeling? What are you now focusing on? What do you want resolved? And one, two, three, let us go. We have the Knight of Wands. So we have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands. This is fire energy. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is moving on. This is chasing your dream. This is on the move. This is making moves. This could be you in business. This could be you being passionate about an idea of yours. This could be you reloc relocating, traveling, migrating, moving away from a situation that wasn't serving you. This is like literally you chasing your passions, your desires, going after what you want. This feels also like someone may want to return. We see two knights here. Someone may have an intention to return. Either you are the one that wants to return to someone or someone wants to return to you. I'm just realizing your energy here, Libra, is up here focusing. And you're focusing on money that it's like you're dreaming big. You are dreaming big, big. You know what you want. You know the amount of money you want to be making. You know how you want to feel about when you're making your money. But there's something that's taking its time to come through. And that's all you're focusing on is like maybe uh, how slow, maybe sometimes it feels like your money may be coming in slowly. So you're really focusing in this area over here. That's where I see you. This person coming in, they may get blocked. Um, but we'll see. It's maybe two people are about to meet. Okay, I hear that kind of, I feel that kind of energy. Two people may end up meeting on their journey one following their heart and one following their their passion and desires they may come across to one another but uh be careful of this connection i feel this is this could be your energy libra the, the knight of wands energy here okay and now we have the six of wands okay so people are on the move aries leo sagittarius Chasing a dream, being victorious. The six of wands is saying you'll be victorious. And this could be in your business or in your marriage. So this is for some of you who you'll meet this person halfway, this one that's coming into you. Um, but they want to be victorious with you. They, I feel like there's a challenge, like someone wants to challenge you. Indignation. What does that word mean? Indignation. All right. And now we have the judgment card. Because I do feel a challenge. Someone wants to challenge. Combat. War. But you're up here focusing. You're determined. You're, be, you're standing up for yourself. You're focusing on your dream. But there's someone I feel all mixed up in their feelings. I feel someone is having torturous energy. They're to they're in they're something torturing this person. They may present as if they're okay, give you a smile, but there's something in the back of their mind that tortures them. That bothers this person. It, it's like an, a second. It's like uh, when you watch a possessed person that has a something possessing them that talks to them on the inside and tells them that. Ugh, it's it's like this you're like you're no good and uh it's that kind of energy this person you see them on the outside but there's something inside that challenges them like a voice possibly a negative voice all right this person that wants to maybe return to you or this new person coming in they have something going on with that devil energy it's it's uh be um be mindful of yourself why you attract this to you because you are attracting this the judgment energy here i feel you're currently attracting this you're current you're attracting this no maybe you do look good you do look good chasing your dreams you know you are going after what you want and this person possibly sees that and now they're having some mixed bad feelings of old past experiences that needs to like uh they and this person i don't feel this person tells a lot of people about what they deal with on the inside they walk around as if they're normal but i'm getting the sense where they're bothered they're uneasy with this voice you know you know this um this feels like um schizophrenia where there's a voice in someone, someone's head and it's like it tells them to do negative things and they have to struggle with that energy while putting up a front and acting like they are normal in society with the Hierophant energy here. But behind that, it's like being bothered by the darkness. Uh, 
Okay, so I feel like this person see you chasing your dreams and focusing and they want to call a challenge. They are, they're calling an official challenge on you. What is that? The justice energy? Libra, this is where you come in. Justice. Oh, it seems like you're going to need to clear up something that happened in your past it's it's uh i'm getting a lot of movie downloads like that kind of energy these days so i'm feeling the energy of a movie where this woman she just she did some things in her past she wanted to move on and change her name but then her past comes back to on her to haunt her challenge her and so it's like you you cannot avoid it you're going to have to you know deal with that because it's coming, you know, that's what I feel like. It's, it's, it's here to bring up something from the past, bring up, stir up old emotions, troublesome possibly. So be aware, this is what this blessed reading is for your, for you to be aware of what is coming. All right, so get get ready to fight back and to say enough. You're going to have to, yeah, some a relationship that ended. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. A relationship that ended. This devil energy. <laughs> Trapped mentally, like that's what I'm saying. See. Mental confusion. This person, this person could be you. We have a lot of swords energy here. This person could have been the. You could have escaped from something. Maybe, you, you know. I feel like you may have escaped. From something, a lot of people are not aware that this happened to you. You escaped from a person that. Somehow thinks they have control over you or your emotions or something, a weapon against you. And they're coming back to challenge you. You could have escaped from something. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I feel like you are ready. There's something, I feel like you're waiting for this. We'll see. Maybe you are aware, aware of this with the, with the king of swords. You are aware of this challenge. You are ready. 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 You know who you are. You're ready. You're confident. You're up for the challenge. You are ready. You will put this person on blast. You are not afraid. I don't feel like I don't feel like you're afraid. You are ready. Let's see what your future is, Libra. Thank you so much for staying up until this point. We have the four of wands, which is success. Are uh, almost crossing that finish line. So, uh, on this journey, you will be victorious. The judgment energy is here in your favor. Crossing that finish line, whatever it is, whatever finish, from both angles, maybe two, maybe both people will be successful. There will be justice on both ends. And that's the way it should work out, you know, so you don't have problems in the future anymore. As if the situation will be dealt with from both sides. All right. On both sides. Look, the death energy, something traumatic is ending. A cycle, a new beginning Look, crossing over that finish line again with the death energy. Death, this could be a death, possibly. This could be the end of a situation. Crossing that line. This is amazing, Libra. Whatever this challenge is, I feel like you are up for it. I feel like it has to come up so that you can nip it in the bud and put an end to it. You know, you're about to take it out from the roots. The truth from the roots and end it. Be done. I feel you could be bringing light to something too, making, um, like speaking truth. You could be speaking truth. This could bring um, truth out and that's what is needed to bring light upon a situation, to put someone on blast, a perpetrator 
whosoever this person was or is, you know, you may need to put them, expose them. That's the energy. Expose them in the light here and let uh, judgment and justice deal with this person. So speak up, speak up, speak it truth. Know that law is on your side. If you need it, be confident in yourself. Okay, I feel this is a specific reading for a specific person. And this is maybe something having to do with your family. Moving from the four ones to the five. Okay, this is a family conflict, a family situation. Hmm. The star, Aquarius energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, your energy, healing. There be, there's, there's an energy clearing out of you. No. Oh my God, this is such a beautiful transformation. I've never seen anything like this. Thank you, Libra, for sharing this with me. Thank you. Right? Um, you're going to be more than more than okay right you're going to be okay it is all well look we have the star and the wheel of fortune the page of pentacles and this is in your future it is all well something needs to be exposed and put someone maybe going to jail perhaps it's that kind of energy where this person comes around and then they get exposed and then the truth is out and then you feel safe because you realize that you do have support and a strong guidance system and a defense system and people around you that are here to protect you, okay? And you're going to find healing. You're going to release something from the past. Page of Pentacles is turn your burdens to light. You're about to receive financial rewards and blessings. Beautiful things are coming up in your future. Libra. This is oh, and then we have the magician energy. Thank you. Uh, which is you also taking charge and making it happen. I feel like you're so ready for this. And you are the one that orchestrated this. Planned. You planned it. Designed. All right. And this person must be revealed. The judgment card. Thank you. All right, thank you so much for um, being here in this reading. We went way over time, but I hope this message resonates with you and is able to help you along your journey. If you're interested in um, offering a donation here, do check out the description box. My PayPal email is in there, so thank you so much. Also, if the video resonates with you, do compliment the video and leave a thumbs up behind. Share the videos with those you love and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for whenever I upload new videos for you, Libra. All of your support is greatly appreciated. Much love and uh, gratitude to you. I'll catch you in the next reading. Remember that you are all and all is within you. Take care. Bye.